Good evening. I hope you're all doing well. Before I get started in this video, I just wanted to make a little announcement, share a little news. So I finally made an Instagram. Um, some people had been asking if I had one or why don't I have one? Um, so I did it. Um, if you're interested, you can follow me at 4 period Elise f o r period a l i s e um yeah put it right here this one that's me and in like the description of this uh, video too yeah so hope to see you all there i'm excited <laughs> so i just wanted to make that small announcement okay now you can all relax um let's get into the video hello Welcome in. So you're here for your glasses fitting, correct? Okay. And do you have an appointment today? No? Okay. Let me check the schedule really quick just to make sure that we have availability right now. Just want to make sure I don't have someone booked for this time. Yeah. No, we're not usually busy around this time, no worries. So it should be okay. Uh, yeah, looks like we are all free right now, so absolutely no problem. Um, and do you already have your eye prescription on you? Okay, yes, yeah, so you just came from the eye doctor. Okay, yeah, if you could pass that to me, that would be great. And then I will just be putting this in our system. And, right, so. Yeah, before we get started, I just want to take a few general notes. Um, I like to do this with our clients so I can have the proper information so that, you know, I can pick the right glasses for you. Right? Shape for your face, right measurements, stuff like that. Okay, so first I'm going to be taking some notes here. Um, I suppose first let me ask, what is your name? Okay. Um, oh, could you, how do you, how do you spell the last name? Sorry. Okay, okay, okay. Right, and then what is your date of birth? Right. Is this your first time um, getting like a formal glasses fitting? Okay, okay. And is this your first time having glasses at all, or have you had them in the past? I got gotcha. you. All right. And do you plan on wearing your glasses full time? Like every minute when you're awake or just sometimes? For example, some people just wear them when they drive or if they're going to class or something. Okay, so most of the day. Okay. And have you worn contacts before? Are you interested in contacts? Because you also have a contacts department. Okay, not today, not today. Yeah, maybe another time. Yeah, I find it really convenient to have both. Personally, I use both. Um, but everyone has their preferences. Okay, and then some more interesting questions. What's your favorite color? <laughs> and um, do you plan on dyeing your hair anytime in the future, or is this the hair color that you're going to be staying with for a while? Okay, gotcha. Yeah, I just like to know what color hair you'll be having because I think that really helps determine what color frames we'll be giving you. Yeah, I take a lot into consideration. I also, of course, take into consideration the color of your eyes. Yeah, let me just write down. Very pretty color, by the way. Alright. Okay, and is there anything that you're concerned about as far as certain glasses frames? Like, um, do you have a sensitive nose bridge? Um, does it get sore? Um, things like that. Or your ears, perhaps. Okay, 
I just like to ask just to be sure. All right. And do you have any sort of idea of what frames you're interested in? Color, material, shape, any of that? Yeah, I can walk you through a lot of different options. I know it's overwhelming because the uh, possibilities are pretty much endless. So yeah, I can walk you through, no worries. So I think first we should talk about um, shape. I think this is a good place to start. So first we're going to talk about shape and then we're going to talk about color and then we can discuss planning out our appointment here. Okay, and then um, one thing I really want to keep in mind, do you have any allergies to any materials that you're aware of? Um, silicone, any metals that you're allergic to? Okay, not that you're aware of. Okay, yeah, just want to be very cautious of that because these will be close to your eyes. Very sensitive place, of course. Okay. And let me see. Okay. So, what I want to start with is take some measurements of your nose, your eyes, your eyebrows, um, things like that, so that I can get an idea of um, what size glass is, as well as like the size of your head, just to know what will be a best fit for you. Okay. Yeah, this one will just take a few minutes when I get this out of the way. Get my measuring device here. Okay. So, first I'm going to measure the distance between your nose from here to here. So just keep your head straight on for me. Look right at me. I'm just going to measure right here to here. Okay. And then here we go. And now the um, length of your right eye here. The length of your right eye. Okay, good. Right eye. Very nice, very nice. And now the length of your left eye here. Yep, keep it wide and open for me. Just a few more moments here. Okay. Good, good. Yeah, you're doing great. Okay, and now I want to do the height of your eye, so this way. Yeah, we're gonna go vertically. Start with this right eye, I'll just keep it open. Okay, awesome. Great, so the vertical eye height. Now the left side here. Good. Okay. So just basic eye dimensions. And then next I'm going to be measuring your eyebrows. The eyebrows are actually really important in getting a frame that suits your face the best. You want a frame that goes with like the shape of the brow, the angle or the arch. It's really you want to pay attention to all these small details, so I'm just going to go along your eyebrow here. Um, oh, are you wearing any makeup today? I want to be conscious, I don't want to take off your eye makeup. Oh, okay, okay, got you. Right, first just along the top of the eyebrow, yep, just like that. Yeah. Right, this is down. And then the tail of the eyebrow. I'm actually going to take that angle and make it a different device here. Where is my... Okay. I'm using this. I'm just going to measure the angle of the arch. So I just go... Just like that. Yeah, I can get that angle of the eyebrow arch. Very, very good. 
And then we're going to repeat the process for your left eyebrow. Uh huh. Yeah. So just the length right along the top here of this eyebrow. Very good. Stay still for me. Okay. We have top of the left brow. Okay. And then I'm going to go along the tail over here. Again, the same as the other eyebrow. And okay, got that one. Alright, and let me get my angle measurement tools out. Can just once again take a breath. Start over here and go like do, 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 Just all the way around. Okay. Okay. Very good. Okay, so I have the brows down. Okay, now I'm going to do the distance from the outer corner of the eye to the ear on both sides. Okay, outer corner of the eye from the ear. So if you could just slightly turn your face to the side, let me get this right side of your face. Okay, get this right side of your face. That's all right, sorry. And I'm gonna poke your ear. Okay, got that one. This is the right side of the face. Okay, and then left side of the face, yeah, just turn. of the ears, um, especially the back of the ear and kind of the curvature, because when we want our glasses to fit snugly around the ear, um, we need to make sure that the shape fits well, otherwise they might fall off. And that's really frustrating, isn't it? Yeah, so turn, 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 turn. Yeah, I'm going to get this right here. Just going to check the shape here. Check the shape. Yeah, let me measure that angle again. Let me get my angle tool. And just get this angle of the ear. Just like that, just like that, just Okay. And so, yeah, you do have pretty typically shaped ears, so there shouldn't be an issue finding frames that fit you well. Yeah. Lots of frames available for you. Okay, and turn this way. Thank you. Again, hold on to me. And get this going. Okay, got the shape of that ear down as well. Fantastic. Okay, and now I'm going to do more general measurements. So the entire length of the face, and then all the way around the head, just like that. So I need a longer measuring tool for this one. So we're going right along the face, right along the face, right along the face, right along the face. Make sure it's very level and at eye level. So we're going from here, all the way across, all the way across, to here. Okay. Got it. Yep. Just right across like that. And then all around the head. No, all around. So, sorry, I'm going to have to reach around you a little bit, just behind you here. I'm just going to hold it here because let me get a little bit looser and then like bring it down and get it at this point too, right in the middle. Okay. Very good. Okay. And then the last measurements that we'll need to do are for your nose. So what I'm paying attention to is the length and height of the bridge of your nose and then the width here as well. So these are all really important determining what type of glasses you need, if you need some nose pads or support here, or if you have a really high bridge, nose bridge, then maybe you don't need that, they can just sit right on it. So, let me, first of all, just take a look here, and oh, is it okay if I touch your face? Let me ask you if that works. Okay, okay. And I better, you know what, sanitize just to be safe. Do you yet, technically? So, yeah. 
smells very nice. <laughs> I always try to make sure that I get good smelling hand sanitizers because I know my hands are going to be near your face and I don't want it to smell bad for you. Okay, so now I'm going to be feeling along the cartilage of your nose and then up the bone area. So what I'm looking for is to make sure that there is no um, like damage or any signs that you'll have issues with. Um, frame sitting on your nose. There might be any pain or tender spots, any signs of any past injuries. Have you ever had an injury to your nose before? Okay. So, okay. So you got hit in the face a while back. Holy cow. Okay. So when you were a kid, okay. And did you receive any treatment for that? Did you ever go to the doctor? Yeah. Okay, so it wasn't broken or anything. Yeah. I'm not seeing any signs of any um, trauma or injuries to this area, so I think you should be absolutely fine having glasses on your nose. Yeah, but if you do experience any pain or discomfort when we're in the process of trying on, please let me know. Yeah, I don't want to put you in any pain, okay? Okay, let me just take a note of that. Yeah, no issues with the nose bridge. And now I'm just gonna go back with this measuring tool. I'm going to be doing this length of the nose bridge, length of the nose bridge, just like this, okay? And then bring that down, okay? And then I'm going to be doing the height. So this is a tricky measurement. I need to take from the highest point in the nose bridge, so for me it'll be like right about here. And then I'm going to measure from here to here and from here to here. So I need you to be really still and kind of turn to the side for me. Yeah. So I can take a good look. And then just... Yeah, this is a difficult angle. And then I'm going to put my finger in. Okay. Alright, very good. So, height of the nose bridge and then just turn this way. Let me get this side now. Okay, there we go. Very good. Yeah, you did great. You did really well. Absolutely no problems with that. Okay, okay. Okay. So now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to enter this data into our system. And, and it's going to sort out... Um, ranking from best fit to least best fit or worst fit um, of glasses that could work for your face and your shape. Um, it's going to be tailored to your measurements. Yeah. So I wrote it all on paper first um, because we like to have a paper copy of all the measurements just in case the system crashes because it kind of happens a lot. Yeah. And then now I will be typing. So just give me one moment, okay? It's going to be typing. So okay. And then we did the length of the eyes, the measurements for length, and then no. got it in. Sorry, one more moment here. Okay, great. 
I know there's just a few other details that I need to enter here. So first of all, I need to enter your general face shape. Um, the options that we have are round face, square face, heart shaped face, rectangle face, uh, oval face, and I think triangle face. Yeah, yeah. So if I look at you, say, yeah, you're somewhere in between oval shades. And then I notice that the hairline does come to a bit of a point, which gives you kind of a heart-shaped look. Um, but your face is a bit longer than like a traditional heart-shaped face. So yeah, you do have quite a defined chin. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna go with oval with undertones of heart shape. Yeah. <laughs> just a moment to load. In the meantime, is there anything I can get for you? Any refreshments or something? Yeah, let me get you some water. our results. So let's see what we have for you. This is so exciting. All right, so for you, it recommends the medium size with more rounder shapes, um, more of like a tortoise shell shape or rounder shapes. Um, it says that if you want to emphasize your jawline and so the sharp angles of your chin, then you could go with a rectangular shape but to more balance out the sharper angles, it recommends um, some rounder shape. Yeah, rounder shape glasses. And then as for the actual sizes, um, we have a lot of glasses in stock that would fit your measurements, so that's great. Yeah, okay, yeah. So, first of all, now we have done the measurements, and I have here in the system, um, what is available for you that would fit you. So next we're going to filter through our options um, by talking about colors. I love this part. I, I love colors. I don't know. I'm a big fan of like, I believe in color theory where you can, I don't know, take into account someone's eye color and hair color and skin tones and find something that works really well for them. Yeah, or even the clothes, uh, colors of the clothes that you like to wear. So, so we're going to chat about colors. Um, you told me earlier your favorite color. Is that a color that you wear very often? Okay, so you don't necessarily wear that color. I got you. What kind of colors do you wear? Okay, more like muted, calmer tones. Okay. A lot of black. Okay, maybe some white. Okay, so more like monotone. Nothing too bright or flashy. Okay, good, yeah. That actually makes it really easy because basically you can wear any color glasses. <laughs> yeah. If you wanted to go for like a pop of color, it look really nice, but yeah, this might not be your style. I totally get it. Yeah, not mine either. So, okay. And then let me take into consideration your skin tone. So what I'm going to do next I'm going to hold up some different colors next to your face, and then I'm going to be analyzing the tones of your skin as in comparison to these colors. So, first we're going to start with blue, and this is to test the cool tones that may be in your skin. So, put this right up next to you. Yeah. Okay. It's not, I'm not, yeah doesn't quite match that well, so maybe not any like blue shades of glasses, because yeah, you don't really have cooler undertones. So next, let me try something warm. 
So we have some orange here. Orange, 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 orange. Okay, yeah, this this is matching much better than the previous cool blue. So from this right off the bat, I would say some browns, maybe even like a deep burgundy, mahogany. Um, or even, of course, black would go with um, anyone's skin tone. If you're interested in something metallic, I might suggest gold over silver. Or even a nice, like, warm, rosy gold would be really nice on you. Okay. Yeah, how does that sound to you? And of course, this is just suggestions based off of, like, color theory and what other people have been satisfied with. If you want to do blue, by all means, go for it. Can do whatever you would like to do <laughs> for colors. So, did you have any colors in mind that you're interested in? Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, you were interested in the black. Okay. Yeah, sure. No, we can see what a dark blue would look like on you. Absolutely. We may be totally wrong. This is not foolproof. <laughs> so, right. And then, oh, so you were interested in some cold tones some metallic ones, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Then of course, yeah, we've got tons of browns. I think a nice, like, tortoise shell type would be really nice on you. Okay, so let me just filter that through. Dark blue options, metallic options. Since you are interested in metallic, um, is it okay if I bring out a gold and a silver just to see? Okay, yeah. Yeah, we can try anything. Yeah. Okay. So, so, so. Finally, the last thing that I need to put in here, the last bit of data, um, is about material. I know you said you were interested in metallic. Um, what about plastics? Are you okay with plastics? Okay, and then what about like a ceramic type? Okay. I got you. And then, okay. okay, and then as for um, the metal itself, we have aluminum, nickel, okay, oh yeah, we can avoid nickel, yeah, there really aren't that many options that use nickel anymore, so, not a concern if you want to avoid that one, okay, and then we have some polished wood as well. It has a nice shellac on it, so it doesn't, of course, you won't get any splinters or anything. Okay, you're not looking for what I get, totally get it. Yeah. Okay, so we have plastic, metal, and some ceramic options lined up for you. Okay, great. Yeah. And if we just put that in the filter, what do we have? Okay, yep. So, it looks like we have a lovely curation of four perfect matches of frames um, that are uh, really recommended for your face shape, your measurements, the colors that you're interested in, and the materials. So if you wait just one moment, I will go get those frames for you so that you can try them on, okay? Yeah, just wait one moment, just wait one moment, just wait one moment. Okay, yeah, I have the four frames here. Um, First of all, I wanted to try these brown tortoiseshell glasses. Yeah, so the first reason um, that these are very well suited to you is the shape. So yeah, as you can see, they have this lovely round shape that I think would go very well um, with the angles of your face. And then they also have these um, little nose pads just to slightly elevate them from your nose. And then another thing is that they have very thin, thin um, arms here. So, yeah. And the color as well. It's a very like um, warm mahogany brown mixed with black. So something darker that would go really nicely with you. And then warmer to go with your warmer skin tone. Let me show you them real quick. So here's what they look like on me. 
You can see in this angle, the front angle, the side angle. Mm -hmm. They're super lightweight, um, and the ends are like this. Very sleek, and this is non-slip here at the end, so it won't be slipping out of your face. Okay, are you interested in trying them on? Yeah, okay, great. Yeah, yeah. Does it feel? Do you feel any pain? Any discomfort? Yeah. You can move your head side to side. If you would just, yeah, let me take a look at the nose pads here. It looks like I think I need to adjust just a little bit. One second, I have a tool for this. Yeah, I have this. I know it looks scary, but don't worry, let me just adjust. Just tighten it. Yeah, it's a little loose on the nose when you wiggled and moved a little bit. Yeah, we don't want them falling off your face. Okay, and how about, um, is it too tight or too loose on your head? Okay. Yeah, sure, I can loosen it just a bit on the side, you said? Yeah. Okay, how's that? You can nod your head, shake your head. Okay. Yeah, it's wonderful. And then you see what you look like in the mirror. Yeah. What do you think? Okay, contender, yeah, I, I totally agree. They look wonderful. They look fantastic on you. <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay, let me, let me take these off. Okay. Wonderful. So I'll just set these aside. Um, I can try the other ones. So, now that was more of a warmer shade, I would like to try a cooler shade on you just to see how we feel about it. Um, so what I have here are these silver frames, so there's a lot of really good things about these the fact that they are round would go lovely, lovely, lovely with the shape of your face um, and if you look on the sides they do have a bit of tortoise um, black with some like gold flecks in them, so this does warm them up they're not totally solid silver um, and they are like a brushed stainless steel so if you drop these, you're good, like they're not going to break. Very, very high quality, um, but at the same time, they're very lightweight. They're not like a heavy, heavy metal. Okay, and then if you look again, you have the nose pads. I think um, nose pads that you're going to find are much um, better suiting. It would be the shape of your nose. Yeah, so let me model them real quick for you. So here's what they look like on me the side view. Yeah, so typically I prefer warmer colors for my skin tone, but as you can see, you know, it's not bad. Like, I think the silver look would look really nice if you're wearing some cooler colors, like if you're wearing something blue, they have silver jewelry on, then it'll really tie it all together and absolutely no problem. Yeah. So, here, let me help you get these on. Okay. Very good. And then, ooh, okay, a little uncomfortable, a little uncomfortable where, tell me where. Okay, you feel some pressure on your sides, yeah, that'll give you a headache here. Let's see if I can loosen, try to loosen it a little bit, but, oh gosh, yeah. With my first pair of glasses that I got in high school, I liked them so much that I like, I didn't care that they were too small. I lied and said that they felt good when in reality they were way too tight. And I got headaches from wearing them. So, yeah. I definitely don't want to. How's that? Any pain? Better? Okay, good, good, good. Yeah, that's great. And then how about the nose? Is it good? Comfortable? Okay, that's great. That's great to hear. Yeah, they look really wonderful on you, actually. Yeah, I think... Yeah, you could really pull off the silver. I wasn't expecting. They look really good. They look really nice on you. Okay, can you move your head up and down for me? Okay. What do you think? Okay, I got you. So you like the tortoise shell ones better, but you still want to consider. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. That's no problem at all. Now let me just... 
So I'm going to set these aside too. You can consider and think about it. So what I have next here, I these are one of my favorite pairs um, in our collection. So these are another metal one, um, but the shape is a bit different from the previous one and they're a very soft, like rosy gold, um, not really a harsh gold. Um, and the shape, yeah, so they're rounded. They are come to a bit more of a point at the top, which I think would really complement like your cheekbones and the shape of your eyebrows as well. Yeah, so, oh, and let me show you this part. It's quite similar to the last one, but a little bit more gold incorporated. Mm hmm Yeah, and this is also stainless steel, but it's a special, um, polish put on. Again, not heavy, very lightweight. Yeah. Alright, so let me show you. Here's what these look like. Let's see, side view. What do you think? You wanna try them? Yes, you have to try them. I think these are gonna look so good on you. Yeah, these are my absolute. They feel good. Good, yes, that makes me so happy. Yeah, I don't even think I need to adjust anything. Oh, these are wonderful. Yeah, I'll give it, give it a good shake. Yeah, move around a little bit. You can, yeah, test it out. Oh my gosh, yeah. I love it. Yeah, I love these on you. <laughs> yeah, they go wonderfully with your skin. I think they fit perfectly. The shape goes wonderful with your eyebrows. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I'm glad you like them too. Oh, that's so great. Okay, yeah. Oh, you want to keep them on a little bit longer? Okay, okay, yeah. You know what? I will take some notes, let you get a feel for them. I don't want to rush anything. So, yeah, good. Just. Okay. Now I still had one more pair that I wanted you to try on. I know it seems like this is going to be the one for you, but let's just try one more, okay? You never know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let me take these off. Yeah, yeah. Let me. Okay. And I will set these aside, don't worry. And the very last pair are very different. This is like a just in case pair, you know, just in case you wanted to try something um, different. So. These are not round. This is more of a rectangular shape. Um, they're very dark, and as you can see, they're kind of a cool, dark, steely blue. So, not round and not warm. <laughs> but they do have the nose pads, um, and you know, the, the angles really could work with your face shape. It just depends if this is the look that you're going for. Okay, yeah, so these tend to be characterized as more masculine. Um, if you're looking for something more masculine, whereas the others are more softer, kind of like neutral area, whereas, yeah, men tend to go towards these, but yeah, people of all genders can have these um, particular frames. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I can try them on for you. Okay. Yeah. Side view. You know, these do not suit me very well. Um. <laughs> As you can see, yeah, I've never been one to go for like square shaped glasses. They just don't go well with my face shape. But let's see. You might be pleasantly surprised. Okay. Yeah, it's not as bad as I thought. Like, they don't look terrible on you, but I'm gonna be honest, the others looked a lot better. <laughs> what do you think? Yeah. I think they're a bit loose too. Yeah, they're kind of slipping off the nose. I mean, here I could try tightening this nose thing here. Let's see, they're better. Um, what do you think about the square shape? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's definitely not for everyone. I do think the round ones are better. Yeah, we can take those off. It's good that you tried it, so you know. What shapes work best for you? Okay, so 
think that our top three were number one was this one, right? And you said number two was what? The tortoise shell? And then number three was these silver ones. So let me hold all of them here for you. This is kind of difficult. <laughs> hold them up like this. And you can think. Remember we tried these first. Then we tried these silver ones. And then we did these gold ones. Okay, so you're between these two. Yeah. Okay. So I'll tell you what, I don't want you to make any like rushed, sudden decisions. Um, so we have this program where you can take home two frames, come back in five days, um, and as long as like there's no damage to them or anything, um, you can just give back the ones you don't want, um, and then we'll get your prescription put in the others. Okay. Yeah. Great. Yeah, so you can take these home. I will package them up for you. You can wrap them up very nicely. Good. Yeah, I think these are great choices. These did you so well. Okay. And then the last thing that we have on our agenda here is that every pair of glasses comes with a case. So you get to select the case of your choice. We have three options here. So there's this one that I just showed you. So this is black. It's kind of a black, shiny, kind of coffin-shaped case. <laughs> it opens just like this. Um, and you have this black handkerchief that comes with it. And it's a bit velvety on the outside. A bit velvety on the inside. Yeah, it just opens and closes just like that. Okay, and it's a very hard shell, so it's protective. Right? And then number two, we have something a bit lighter. Yeah, definitely lighter, more fun color, more playful. Also more sleek in the design, takes up less space. Um, and more uh, like square edges. So this one is also yellow on the inside. So if you're looking for something more colorful and fun, we have this turquoise and yellow one. And this comes with the like gray towelettes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course, everyone comes with a little towelette for cleaning the lenses. Okay, and this opens very similarly to the other one. Okay, and then the final option that we have for you here. So, this one's a little bit different in the way that it opens, and this one is magnetic, so like this and it's also more leathery and it's this dark blue color it's also fairly small but it has this asymmetrical shape okay and then it has this cute message on the inside nice to see you <laughs> um, it's like a light 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 blue or light gray kind of felt on the inside and we have this white towelette for you. The inside looks like this. Put the towelette back. Yeah, and it opens and closes a bit easier than the other one. So the only concern is because it's open so easily, it might open by accident. Whereas the others are a bit harder to open and close. Of course, there's pros and cons to either one. So let me show you all three. You like the black one? Yeah, I think the black one's really nice. It's a bit bigger, but I think it's worth it in terms of you'll get more protection. Um, yeah, and it will just match everything pretty much. So, okay, I'll let me wrap this up for you with the two frames. All right. Okay, now that about sums up our appointment today. It was really lovely to have you in. Thank you so much for your time and uh, happy glasses. <laughs> happy glasses wearing, yeah. I'll see you in five days, okay? Yeah, see you. Bye bye. Take care.